Hello, I am Icebeast and welcome back to Europa Universalis 4. So we're at War with the Timurids and the plan at the moment, uh, for those of you who do not know, is to try to take a couple of these last provinces and then run the fuck away. Um, that's really the, pro the plan here. I should be able to do it if I can get just enough war score. Oh, my war exhaustion is low. That's not good. Now the question is, is can I do anything about it? Uh, reduce war exhaustion. Yes, I have plenty of diplo power, so let's reduce that. Um, so what is my... What does that put my peace position at now? Now I'm at medium. Will that get me allow me to get what I want? No, I'm, I need seven more points. Which will... I'll be gaining one a month, basically. And if I gain, if I can win any of these sieges, like this one here, that will help a lot. Come on, roll them dice in my favor. Roll them dice in my favor, please. So I'm not be going to war with anybody anytime soon because of my war exhaustion. Oh, they were coming for me for a second. Now they're not. Now they are. Now they're not. Now they're going up this way. They will give me Surat and Rajkot and 245 ducats. Um, I'm going to decline that for now, but it is good to know about. Please win this siege here. Come on, roll the dice, big bucks here. I'd really like to win this as soon as we can. But they don't want to win it. The, where's this army going? Where are you going? You coming down here? No. Um, I don't want that trade income negative, so I'm just going to lose the Diplo points. That sucks, but that's not what I, I mean. Wow, they really got a... Chagatai really actually gave them a pass-through. God damn it. And I don't have enough, I'm guessing, to... Oh, no, they will give me what I want now. Beautiful. And I'm assuming they won't give me any money. Oh, no, they'll give me uh, 35 ducats. I'm going to wait until the very last second here. I'm literally going to wait till the very last second here. Oh, no, they're coming here now. They will get here on the 3rd of December. I will be gone on the... All right, so... When is your siege... Oh, you're not. Your siege isn't going to end. All right, well, let's just do it. Peace out. I get any more gold? I cannot. Send demand. Beautiful. We won the war. Let's get all our forces back into the homelands. Beautiful. So we've gotten all this territory. Let's core the stuff we need to core. Get these cores constructed. Oh wow, that one cost me a ton. I wasn't paying attention, but one of those cost me a ton of points. Um, I don't need to, this anymore. Um, or no, this one. I don't need this one anymore. Cool, so we uh, went to war with uh, the Timurids and we won. And yes, I don't need the military access anymore. Cancel military access. Send. What do I get next on my uh, my ideas here? The next thing I get is minus 10% recruitment time. I think I'll just pass on that one and possibly consider going to the next military tech level um, instead. Meanwhile, it's going to be all about rebuilding the forces. What I think I need to do is consolidate forces because I'm losing way too much money and I don't have any manpower. So that is exactly what we're going to do. Merge, consolidate. Um, you guys also will merge and consolidate. Alright, cool. So we just lost a bunch of men, or a bunch of, of troops. But uh, we're not losing money. So that's good. And then once our manpower actually starts building up again, we will... Um, We'll solve these problems but I need I need the money we can go back up to speed speed real uh, no I'm not going to invest in a new idea at the moment which I think I just discussed oh uh, timbers weren't my rival so I didn't get anything from that that's too bad that's too bad but that's okay 
All right, there we go. Now we're making some money. 1075. 224. Marwari Nationalists. I hope they do good. Lose 10 Prestige or gain 10 Revolt Risk. Let's just lose 10 Prestige since I have plenty of it. One thing I'm not short on is Prestige, guys. I have a lot of Prestige. Oh, I'm not gaining the, the this because I'm lower than... That's too bad. That's too bad. That uh, this has gone down. My power projection, that's the word I was looking for. I am actually going to, while I have the opportunity though, boost my stability. I like having that plus one stability. And now I have, you know, epically long times that I can convert provinces. Beautiful. And we should start be making real money now, again. Real money should be on the way. Oh, and awesome. Banton itself has gotten self-deterministic. Um, Demark would be the best province to go after, but I think I'm going to go after uh, Sunda, and I just need to get some... some. Uh, who are you at war with that you need military access through me? Ethiopia. Ethiopia has forces through me? Oh, they wanted these troops to get through here. No, fuck you. Um, so getting these 10 troops up, these 10 ships up here, then I want to split off uh, an army of this army right here, uh, create a new unit, one infantry, two infantry, one cavalry, one cannon, select this army, have it move down here, and then you need to uh, give me one unit of infantry, select that unit, and have it also come down here. And that will be my uh, colonization force again that I had going. Starting to finally gain um, manpower back. So that's good. We'll, we'll have some real manpower again. Beautiful. Beautiful, guys. The armies are finally getting back to full strength. Making gold again, manpower again. We'll have to rebuild the army after the consolidations. It is what it is. Why aren't you coming down here where I told you to go? That must have been a mistake by me. All right, so you merge, get on the boats. Beautiful, come on down to the empire here. Are you in the best place for you to be? 0.91 gold in Zanzibar, 1.47 gold in um, uh, yeah, you go there and get me 1.47 gold. Why do I have? Oh, they have rebels. God damn it! I'll come deal with your goddamn rebels. 10.75. Really should have been 12.75, but. So what just hell just happened here? They're still my vassal. Oh, I can probably start annexing them. Diplomacy, uh, relations, actions, improve relations. So wait, you can stop going to where I had you going. I was going to have them go deal with that, but they don't need to do that anymore. Making a buttload of money now. Getting some uh, serious military strength. 1000 per month. Or two months, I should say. Alright, cool. So you go to Sunda. The only reason I want to colonize that other place in Madagascar is to, um, is because I should be able to, there might be gold here. That's what I'm trying to say. There might be gold here. What is this? Who are you? Portugal, probably? Probably Portugal, I'm guessing. Which really says that colonizing here may not be the worst city in the world because that will give me a border with Port Portugal. And what happens if I get a port border with Portugal? I, uh, oh, fuck, please don't lose this army. Um, if I get a border with Portugal, then I get, um, come on. Fuck. That pisses me off. Fucking Mandu. Fucking random revolt that just cost me, like, 5,000 men. What's the revolt risk here? Zero. If I, even if I take the, uh, the troops, and eh, the troops are probably actually contributing, but still, that fucking pisses me off. That really pisses me off. 
Well, these cores will be done soon, but I'm just mad that I lost troops that I shouldn't have lost. Whatever, I'll get them back soon. Sooner than later. I'll have my forces back to full strength. My colony has been constructed. Um, let's attack the natives. Get that dealt with. No natives anymore. I don't have to worry about them anymore. Beautiful. Um, well, that sucks. That sucks. Or that sucks. North Konkan. Minus 2%. Tax modifier. Minus 2%. This one right here. I'd lose a lot for 20 years, but I don't want to have to deal with 22 regiments right now. So we're just going to lose shit. It sucks. It sucks. Big balls, but whatever. Not much I can do about it, I would say. Just had to sort of take that, take that in stride. Oh, I can convert some of these cultures if I wanted to. Yeah, I could convert that if I wanted to spend 100 Diplo points. Something to consider. Good, we got our core on Surat, and we should get our next two cores as well. Um, oh shit, I didn't want to give them that. That was a mistake. I wanted to get Portugal military access. Who are they at war with? Yeah, they're at war with uh, Kilwa. Wow, you're at war with everybody. Who are you at war with? Timurids, Crimea, and Kilwa. Interesting. Did you make an alliance with uh, the Timurids? You fucking did, didn't you? First you were allied with the Ottomans, then you guys got out of that alliance and decided, you know what I want to fucking be allied with? Timurids. Bullshit. Bullshit. And there's that a Kilwaian army just chilling here. Alright, cool. So now we should have no overextension at all. Yep, overextension's gone. Beautiful. What I do have, though, is a need of manpower. I am in need of manpower. 11, 11, 11. I am 13, 10, 15. 13, 12, 12. 9, 10, 10. 14, 15, 14. Wow, 18, 16, 16, 17. Gigantic Poland. Naples is 18 as well. 14. Scandinavia is 15. Interesting. Very interesting. What did I... What was my mission? What was my mission? Uh, forge a claim on this province. Oh, Mysore. Yeah, that's what... It, duh. Not a bad mission. Something to do. Wow, Portugal. Go Portugal. Hopefully you can dissolve their alliance. That would be great. That would be really good. Um, oh, you guys are you love me now. Influence actions, annex. I don't have a diplomat to send. So yeah, I will uh, annex them. Jesus Christ, I'm having negative effects all over the place right now. We'll annex them. We'll get the uh, the free men out of the deal, which is not bad. This will give me, what, 3,000 extra infantry, at least. Not, nothing to complain about. The annexation will take three months. Kind of a joke. And we'll lose, what, 10 uh, legitimacy? Yeah, we lost 10 legitimacy. No big deal there. All right, come on down. Come on down. All right, cool. So we've got we've added uh, these guys to our rain, our realm. A non-accepted culture, disputed succession in Marwar, which just became a country. Good for them. They're Sikh. These provinces are Hindu. Are you guys Sikh or Hindu? What is your like actual religion? How do I figure that out? They're Hindu. All right, cool. So we can offer, um, they would actually take vassalization if I had enough influence. So let's improve relations with them. And then, you know, God damn it. 
see what we can do about Marwar here. Hopefully these guys will break their alliance. That's what I really want is for them to break their alliance because I want to get all this other land from Kilwa at some point. Things are uh, swinging into our favor. We're gaining no uh, points on anything anymore. No big surprise there. I am getting a ton of money. If I just had the manpower, I wouldn't I'd very quickly be willing to... Um, I'd very quickly be willing to... Uh, Rebuild the armies. That's what I'm trying to say. Oh, somebody else. Or Portugal just took that land. That does not make me happy. God freaking damn it. <laughs> the game is not happy with me. I just, cause it's because I probably just said, you know, hey, look, I'm doing great. Wait, do I share a border with them? I don't. God damn it. Westernize. To be able to westernize, you need to have a neighbor or conquered territory that belongs to the Western Technology Group. The province needs to be a core prov and not part of the, the trade company. Western Jason will reduce reservoir by three. We'll then slowly westernize, and our progress will depend on our monarch power. Each month, up to seven monarch power will be drawn from each category. Countries with a higher total tax base will westernize more slowly. When the progress is finished, we will require 3,000 power in total. We will change our technology group to Western. And we gain revolt risk and advisor costs go way up. Something to consider, but westernization would be good for us. It's too bad they only take lower SIND. But, uh, all right, we, um, relations action. Stop improving relations for a second. Get an alliance with them. Beautiful. Uh, relations, they want a royal marriage. Exactly what I wanted there. Relations actions, improve relations some more. Yeah, this is going really well, and we're up to 22,000 manpower. We're almost to the point where I can start rebuilding my forces. Holy crap. Uh, is this from the Ming? Occupied by the Ming and occupied by Patriots. Wow, the Ming are expanding westward kind of scarily. Kind of scarily. Oh, and they, uh, they made them give up a lot of territory. They're still allied with these bitches, though, which sucks. Why are you leaving your army here exiled, by the way? Why don't you just put it in the territory literally right next door? Kind of strange. Don't you guys all agree? It's a little strange. So I've improved relations by 50. Another 50 will put me at 100. Mm. So this would put me at 150, basically, when done. And I'd still need another 45 to get them to become my vassal. Something to consider, though. Well, it is time to start rebuilding the army. So what we have 3,000, 10,000, 7,000, 5,000. All right, so. Okay, Chagatai has insulted us. That was unwise of them, but whatever. Um, build, build, build. So that would give you, oh wait, no, don't build here. Um, and then what I want is um, build, build. All right, start with that. Upgrade our military tech. Beautiful. Beautiful. Everything's going great. Oh, we have upgraded uh, cannons. I think it was. Yep. Even better cannons. God, we're we're doing great. We're military tech 16. These guys are military tech 18, which is uh, scary compared to us, but uh, not that scary compared to... These guys are what, military tech 12? Yeah, Timurids, I'm not worried about you. Somebody's sieging you here, too. Probably rebels. Come on, let's get this army finished. Beautiful. So then we're done with that, and then I want to get the next army. Ooh, gain one stability or gain one base tax. Well, as much as one base tax in Kalingahara would be great. Um... Let me just see where this province is. This would put it at four. I'm gonna gain the stability. Stability is awesome. I don't have to pay for it. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. All right, now we are going to, what do I wanna do here? We're still making, we're making 15 gold a month? Holy crap. Um, let's build, this is what, 3,000, 1,000, 3,000? So we wanna build one, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right. Then one, two, three, no, three, four, five. And then one, two, three, four. All right, cool. Let's see how that, what that does. Oh, and this is where we're going to the episode. So uh, after that huge army is done constructing, we should be in a pretty good place to uh, attack. I don't know who or what, but uh, I think we'll be in a pretty good place no matter what. But that's what well, I'm going to thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you all next time.